Believe it or not, we live in a time where Zuckerberg is saying stuff that is kinda right when it comes to open source. In a recent event, the least open source company called OpenAI released a new model that can kind of think and have a chain of thoughts. And God forbid if someone tried to figure out how it works, he will be threatened to be banned from using it. I discussed this topic in a previous video, you can check it out here on my channel. Mark Zuckerberg company is right now the biggest leading open source contribution just by giving us the Lama models. And he's doubling down on his opinion, especially in this video. I think that open source AI is going to become the industry standard, just like Linux did. It gives you control to customize and run your own models. You don't have to send your data to another company and it's more affordable. I also think that the transparency and scrutiny are going to make open source AI safer and more secure, just like other open source software. We've done rigorous testing on all of our models. And of course, since they're open, everyone can do their own testing as well. This guy went from give me your data mortal to hey, give me your girl, bro. But is he really on our side or it's just another business move that we don't understand? The Microsoft deal with OpenAI came out of fear of falling behind Google, which have a lot of AI engineers. This article is talking about it in detail. According to Elon Musk, Google had two thirds of the AI talent. And to counter the Google power, they founded OpenAI. Then some of the best people left OpenAI and created Anthropica to focus on AI safety, which in business words, it means that the money going to the company that have the most power and AI talent and which company have the best AI will control the AI market. Back to Zuck. This article is created by Mark Zuckerberg himself. It's talking about how open source is the way to go in the future. And this three points is the most important point in the entire article. The first point is to ensure that we have access to the best technology and aren't locked into a closed ecosystem over the long term. The second one, I expect AI development will continue to be very competitive, which means that open sourcing any given model isn't giving away a massive advantage over the next best models at this point in time. I agree with this part. Right now, every single open source model trying to be the previous version of itself or even its competitor. If you compare GPT 3.5 right now to the Lama 3.1 or the DeepSeek model, you will find that GPT 3 is lacking. The most important point is the last point. Third, a key difference between meta and closed model providers is that selling access to AI model is not our business model. It means that openly releasing Lama doesn't undercut our revenue. He's not going to be affected if he pushed open source model like OpenAI. What I get from his letter or article, that's if open source easily accessed by everyone, it means the closed source model will not have the same value if it's our only option that we have. And I think this is why Sam Altman play two different sides. The first one is hyping the entire model that he tried to create, like here in his new article talking about the intelligent age, and he's going on detail about the coming years, how the model will seem like magic to our grandparents, and hyping the entire AI model that he's trying to create. And the other part, which is kind of very different from the first one, is basically warning the government of if this technology went wrong, we are in a very bad situation. Um, my worst fears are that we cause significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. Uh, I think that could happen in a lot of different ways. It's why we started the company. Um, it's a big part of why I'm here today uh, and why we've been here in the past and we've been able to spend some time with you. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening, but we, we try to be very clear-eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do to mitigate that. I am 100% sure that Zaki Boy don't do that from pure 
open source point of view even if he trying to make EGI open source which is mentioned in this video hey everyone today i'm bringing meta's two ai research efforts closer together to support our long-term goals of building general intelligence open sourcing it responsibly and making it available and useful to everyone in all of our daily lives meta use ai to keep people engaged with its platform it make money so ads of course and ai help improve the content recommendation enhance user interface design and target ads more effectively without needing to rely on a service like gbt or sonnet from other companies at the same time ai help improve facebook and mark zuckerberg public image the perception that Meta is keeping up with the latest technology, state of the art, everything right now is state of the art, has boosted the company's stock price. Recently, Microsoft became the most valuable company largely thanks to its cloud service and partnership with OpenAI, which made it look like it's the leader among the top five tech companies, Google, Apple, Meta, Amazon. And of course, the last one is Microsoft. Microsoft increased likely to cover all the money it's invested in OpenAI. However, Meta AI effort seems to have been even off more, and its net income went from 23 billion to in 2022 during the metaverse phase to 39 billion in 2023. Thanks to the Llama model, of course, and the other AI developments they're trying to do. This is more than the OpenAI revenue, which is about three and almost a half billion. Additionally, Meta already have a ton of GPUs already on their, their hand or on Instagram, which is helps them lower the cost of building its own AI model. Zuckerberg likely realized that if Meta relied on the AI from other company, it would eventually be overshadowed by them. By developing its own AI, Meta makes sure it's independent and as a bonus, it maintains and control over its future. Even if Meta didn't open source their model, others would do like the DeepSeek company or Mistral AI, or even Alibaba company, which has released the new model Coin 2.5. It should be wise from Meta to open source its early and lead open source model, but to be honest, it's not its first open source project. They have history with releasing other projects that's open source and successful. And successful like the React, the React Native, people forget the Baytorch, other less famous projects. And remember, we can make fun of this guy, but he can beat us in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I am Sam. Thank you for watching my channel. I really love making this kind of video talking about tech and if you like it, click the big button down below because I am going to make more of them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Hmm. Kenneth, Mark, give me the Zuck. I, but, but you can follow up and tell me what that means and I'll, I'll, I'll try to try my best to do it for you. What, what's the whole Zuck thing? Z-U-C-C. -C. I, I haven't seen this before.